in the characteristics of the month of Ramadan. Allah the Exalted says which means the month of Ramadan is a month in which the Quran was descended as guidance to men, to mankind, and also clarification of guidance and Furqan. So the first characteristics that Allah Azza wa Jal chose this month other than any other month to begin descending the Quran upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Quran is the word of Allah and his revelation, light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, which means the month of Ramadan in which the month Allah has descended the Qur'an. And this is a great ni'mah from Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal through it have taken whomever, whomever he willed from the darkness of shirk to the light of tawheed. And from the darkness of being stubborn and following bid'ah to the light of sunnah. From the characteristics of this month is that Allah Azza wa Jal sent Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during this month. The Prophet of Mercy. Allah Azza wa Jal sent Jibreel to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam while he was in Ghar Hara during the month. Ramadan. Number three, Allah Azza wa Jal have sent Islam, the bounty of Allah that is complete and perfect. Its beginning was the month of Ramadan for this nation. So it's a blessed month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it a starting point for this nation for many great matters that changed the cases and the affairs of the people to better. In this dunya and in the akhirah, the hereafter, for those who answer the call of Allah. Four, it is highly liked to increase reciting the Quran during that month. Following the way of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam For Jibreel used to study with him the Quran During the month of Ramadan once And the year in which he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died Jibreel viewed it with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam twice Number five It is incumbent upon the Muslims To fast it and protect their fasting Because fasting the month of Ramadan Is a pillar and an obligation Allah the Exalted says, which means, O oh, you who believe, fasting has been prescribed upon you as it was prescribed upon those before you, so that you may attain taqwa. And the meaning of fasting, Ramadan here, the meaning of fasting is fasting of the month of Ramadan. Because the Prophet wasallam said, Islam is built upon five. Testify that there is no deity worse than being worshipped except Allah. And that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah to perform the prayers, to give zakah, to fast Ramadan, and to perform hajj to the house if you're able to undertake the journey. Hadith agreed upon and rated by Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him and his father. So fast in Ramadan is an obligation. Upon everyone able, sane, have reached puberty, men, women, jinn, ins, mankind, except those who have an excuse, not being able to fast it due to travel or an illness or a woman going through her menstruation or post-delivery bleeding. For them, they have to fast other days, unless someone's illness is permanent and he cannot fast. Allah is just says, which means, and those who are ill or upon a journey, then other days to may, be made up. Number six, the shayateen are, ch uh, are chained or shackled. The gates of Jannah are open. The gates of the fire are shut. Hadith narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anh, that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when Ramadan comes, the gates of Jannah are open and the gates of the fire are closed and the shayateen are shackled. Therefore, the servant can, by the support of Allah, rush to ta'a, obedience, stay away from sins because the only thing that he has to strive against is his soul that is what? His evil soul that is asking him to commit evil. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he seek Allah's protection against the evil of our souls. Because if the person cannot, subhanAllah, fight that, how is he going to fight two enemies, his souls and the shaitan after Ramadan? So Allah shackles and chains up the shaitan. From the characteristics of fasting or the month of fasting, is subhanAllah, the joining of Qiyam al-Layl, people can gather up for night salah and they join for fasting. And that is not given for any month except the month of Ramadan. They cannot gather for Qiyam al-Layl. Scheduled their gathering for Qiyam al-Layl outside the month of Ramadan. Like those who do the bid'ah of 15th of Sha'ban, the first Thursday of Rajab, the last, I think, Monday of Thursday of Rajab, and then Rajab 27. The Prophet Sallallahu said, he who fasts Ramadan, sincerely for Allah, anticipating the reward with Allah, his previous sins will be forgiven. He who stands Ramadan, meaning in Salah, during the night, sincerely for Allah, anticipating the reward with Allah, his previous sins will be forgiven. He who revives the night of Al-Qadr, sincerely for Allah, anticipating the reward with Allah, his previous sins will be forgiven. The hadith is related by Bukhari and Muslim. SubhanAllah, the Muslim has to fast for the sake of Allah, anticipating the reward from Allah. 
and the Prophet ﷺ gave us glad, glad tidings of what forgiveness and ultimate reward. Ya ikhwan, ultimate reward from Allah Azza wa Rewarded that only Allah knows of. Abu Huraira said that the Prophet ﷺ said every deed of the son of Adam will be multiplied for him. Hasanah multiplied by 10 to 700. Allah the Exalted says except fasting. Accept fasting. It is for me and I reward him for it. He abandons his desires and his food for my sake. The fasting person will have two moments of joy. A moment of joy when he breaks his fast, a moment of joy when he meets his Lord. Hadith is agreed upon. From the characteristics of the month of Ramadan, it has the night of Al Qad, which is a night better than 1,000 months. As Allah says, indeed we have, which means, indeed we have revealed in the night of Al Qad. And what makes you know the night of Al Qad? The night of Al Qadr is better than a thousand months. He who stands, ya khwan, during that night, revives it in ibadah for the sake of Allah, anticipating the reward with Allah, and Allah accepts it from him as if he worshipped Allah 84 years. No sins, sanat. And this is the reward of Allah. He grants him whatsoever he wants. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was related that the Prophet وسلم, revived the night of Al Qadr in Salah. It was narrated by Abidhar radiallahu anhu, who said, We fasted with the Messenger of Allah وسلم, Ramadan. And he did not lead us in salah, meaning night prayer, any of the nights of the months. Till seven nights remained, he led us in prayer. Till one third of the night has passed. And then when six nights remain, he did not lead us in salah. When five nights were remaining, he led us in prayer till half of the night passed. More sah. And then we said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, if you lead us in the rest of the rest of the night in salah, he وسلم, said, if a man prays behind his imam, till the imam leaves, it will be rain for him. It will be rain for him the whole night, as if he performed the whole night in Qiyam. And this is only during what night? During what month? The month of Ramadan. If you pray behind your imam, Taraweeh, till he finishes, it will be rain as if you performed the whole night in Qiyam. And he وسلم, as Abu Dhar said, when four nights remain, he did not lead us in Salah. And when the third meaning the third to last night, which is the night of 27. He gathered his family, his wives, and people, and led us in salah till we feared al-falah, would, we would miss it. The narrator was asked, meaning Abu Dhar was asked, what's al-falah? He said, al-suhur. So he led him almost very close to, to Fajr, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hadith is related by Abu Dawud al-Tirmidhi. Ikhwan, one of the also main characteristics of the month of Ramadan is that it is a month of the supplication, supplications of du'a being, Answered and calamities being removed. Allah when He mentioned in the Quran the rules of fasting, between them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ And if my sermons ask you about me, tell them I am near. Answer in the supplication of the supplicators when they call upon me. So this is a clear indication that the person should increase in dua when he's fasting. What supports that is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrated by Abu Hurairah. That he sallallahu alayhi wa said three times the people, their supplications will not be rejected. Meaning it will be answered. The fast in person till he breaks his fast. Take advantage as long as you're fasting. Throughout the day, make dua with a heart that is present and a mind that is also awake and present. He sallallahu alayhi wa said, and the just ruler. And the third one is a supplication of the oppressed one. Allah raises it above the clouds and the gates of the skies are open for it. And the Lord, the exalted says, by my might, and my honor, I will indeed assist you, even if it is after a while. Hadith is related by Tirmidhi. And also the fasting person should take advantage of the times that most likely the supplication will be answered between Adhan and Iqamah at the end of the Adhan. So he finishes in his sujood. Also, Ikhwan, during the last third part of the night, Allah descends in a way that matches His Majesty and perfection. And the Exalted says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Who asks, who is asking, so should I give him? who's seeking my review so that I can protect him, and who's seeking my forgiveness so that I could forgive him. And hadith is agreed upon, narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu. It is the month of giving, the month of generosity, when a follower of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam increasing giving, increasing feeding the fasting people, increasing giving sadaqah. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu says that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the most generous amongst mankind, and he was even more generous during Ramadan, when Jibreel would meet him. And Jibreel would meet him every night in Ramadan, studying with him the Qur'an, reviewing with him the Qur'an. For the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was more generous with good than the given wind. Imagine the wind that comes with khair from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. does it have limits? He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was more generous than that wind. Hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. So follow who? Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's your role model. If you want happiness in the dunya and the akhirah, as Allah says, which means indeed in the Messenger of Allah has been set for you a great 
model to be followed, example to be followed for he who hopes for Allah in the last day and remembered Allah much. Also, fast of Ramadan is like fasting 10 months. Narrated by Abi Ayyub al-Ansari in a hadith related by Muslim. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said he who fasts Ramadan then follows it six days from Shawwal as if he fasted the entire year. One month multiplied by 10, 10 months. Lah. So we have two months left of the year. If you fast six days from Shawwal and multiply by 10, that's two months. So that gives you two plus 10, 12. It is the month of patience, the month of hope. Why? MashaAllah, look at the patience that Allah grants his believing servants to increase in ta'at. In the morning, read in Quran, increase in khayr. In the evening, standing before Allah, reciting the Quran and also giving and making dua. And this is till the month passes. Increasing in ta'at. The Prophet وسلم, called it the month of patience. He said, fast in the month of patience. And three days from every month is like fasting the whole, the entire year. Hadith related by Ahmed. Fasting also, Ramadan, ya khwan, expiates the sins. It was narrated by Abu Huraira in a hadith related by Muslim that the Prophet وسلم, said the five daily prayers, Friday to Friday, Ramadan to Ramadan, expiate the sins committed between them as long as the major sins are avoided. From the characteristics of Ramadan, it's a reason to establish taqwa of Allah, to be watchful of the commands of Allah. So subhanallah, tajid hatta man yati fil kaba'ir fi ghayrihi yamtana shahr Ramadan. Wa rubbama tawaqqaf. Summa fataha Allah azza wa jal alayhi baab al-tawbah fataqaf hatta ba'da. Wa hadha kathir. Asallani ta'lana wa yaakum bi rahmat. Subhanallah, you find some people who even are upon major sins when Ramadan comes, they stop them. And subhanallah, they might even not return to them after Ramadan. So it's a month of fear in Allah, ya khwan. Allah azza wa jal said, which means, O oh, you who believe, Fasting has been prescribed upon you as it was pres prescribed upon those before you so that perhaps you may attain taqwa. And the ayat of fasting in the Quran, Allah concluded it with لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that perhaps you may attain taqwa. And taqwa, ikhwan, the scholars have identified it, is doing what you are commanding and staying away from what you are commanded to stay away from. So it is the month of taqwa and worship and obey, obedience to Allah. Also from the characteristics of Ramadan is that he who prays behind his imam, the prayer of taraweeh till the imam finishes, it will be rain for him as if he performed the whole night in qiyam. Subhanallah, rubba ma yisalli insan khalfa imami nusfa sa'a. Rubba ma yisalli khalfa imami sa'a. Al akthara wa aqal. Wa yiktab lahu qiyam layla. And subhanallah, you might pray behind your imam half an hour, meaning the imam takes half an hour to face them or an hour, or less or more. And subhanAllah, you go back home with inshallah ta'ala rain as if you performed qiyam al -layl. The hadith we mentioned earlier, we mentioned again, hadith narrated by Abidab. We said, radiallahu anhu, we fasted with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Ramadan. And he did not lead us in any night of the month of Ramadan till seven nights remained, he led us till the third of the night passed. Then when the sixth remaining night, he did not lead us. And then the fifth, he led us till the half of the night passed. And we said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, if you lead us the rest of the night. He وسلم, said, if a man prays behind his imam till the imam finishes, it will be rain for him as if he performed qiyam the whole night. He came in Athar, the Imam Ahmad Rahimahullah Ta'ala, when he used to pray Tarawih, he used to not leave till the imam leaves. Like he'd taken the hadith. By all of its appearance, Wallahu a'lam. Also, it's a blessed month. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when Ramadan approached, he told the Sahaba, Ramadan has approached you. A blessed month. Allah obligated upon you, fasten it. The gates of Jannah open, and the gates of the fires are shut, and the shayateen are shackled. It has a night, better than 1,000 months. He who is deprived of its good has been truly deprived. The hadith is related by Tirmidhi and others, and it has a cutoff between Abi Qalab and Abi Huraira, but the hadith has supporting evidence. Wallahu alam. From the characteristics of this month, ya khwan, is that Allah frees from the fire every night a number of his servants during the month of Ramadan. There is, subhanAllah, usually a hadith going around saying that the, the first night Allah frees, at the end of the, the last night of Ramadan, that when Allah frees the servants. No, it's every night of Ramadan, Allah frees a number of his servants from the fires. It was narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anh, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if it is the first night of the month of Ramadan, when it is the first night of the month of Ramadan, the shayateen are shackled, and also maradatil jinn, their heads, and the gates of the fire are closed, shut, and none of them is open. And the gates of Jannah are open, and none of them are closed. And a caller will call, O oh, seeker of good, come forward. O oh, seeker of good. Comfort and O seeker of evil, remain where you are. And Allah has 
a number of servants. Allah Azza wa Jalla has people that are ransomed, freed from the fire, and that is every night. So the servant who's truly deprived is the one who does not take by the means that Allah has set. And this is given to those who believe and perform righteous deeds and hasten to seeken the satisfaction of Allah. Also, i'tikaf in Ramadan is better than i'tikaf done outside the month of Ramadan. The Prophet وسلم, have done it, especially those who want to follow the Sunnah of Rasulullah and do i'tikaf the last 10 nights from Ramadan. The Rabbi of Abi Sa'id, he said that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, used to do i'tikaf during the middle 10 nights. And when the middle 10 nights will pass, he would go back to his house, وسلم, the night of 21st. And those who were doing i'tikaf with him would return. And one month he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did it the middle night, the middle ten nights. And then when he wanted to return, he stood up and delivered a speech to the people and he commanded them what Allah commanded him, what Allah willed. Then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Indeed I used to do a tikaf, meaning settle, seclude myself during these ten nights. Then it was appeared to me to do a tikaf the last ten nights. So he who has done a tikaf with me earlier, remain in your tikaf, in the place of your tikaf. For indeed, I was shown that night, the night of Al-Qadr, and that I was made to forget it. So seek it during the last 10 nights. Seek it in the odd nights of the last 10 nights. And I saw myself, meaning the morning of it, I would be waking up, making sujood on water and mud. Meaning usually the night, the day after it, could, could rain, barakallah fikum. Also from the characteristics of Ramadan, is Umrah Ramadan is like doing Hajj with Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hadith narrated by Ibn Abbas, Allah be pleased with him and his father, who said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam intended to perform hajj. So a woman told her husband, she said, make me perform hajj with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on your camel. He said, I don't have what can take you to perform hajj with me. She said, let me use your camel so and so. He said, I have settled that camel for the sake of Allah. Make I can't use it for anything else. So he went to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said, my wife sends her salam to you on the mercy of Allah. And she asked me to take her to Hajj with you. Meaning so she can go with her husband so that he can accompany the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And she said, make me perform Hajj with the Messenger of Allah. And I said, I do not have what I can take you on Hajj for. I mean, what I can take you to ride for Hajj. She said, make me ride on your camel so and so. And I told her, I have set him for the sake of Allah. Meaning he set to be used for the sake of Allah. A Prophet وسلم, said, if you gave her that camel, it is done for the sake of Allah. She's going for Hajj, and that is for the sake of Allah. But he and then he said, and she asked me to ask you, you know, what would be equivalent to perform Hajj with you? And that Ikhwan shows you the eagerness of the Sahaba of Rasulullah and their hastening to do what? The good obedience, ta'at. When they saw the rich given sadaqah, they wanted to also catch up to them. And they asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what could we do to catch up to them? And that woman, may Allah be pleased with her, the same thing. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, send my salam to her and the mercy of Allah and his blessings. Wa rahmatillah wa barakatuh. And tell her that Umrah in Ramadan is equivalent to an hajj with me. Speaking about the characteristics of the month of Ramadan are many. And this is few out of many, akhwan, as the people of knowledge have stated, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon them. And uh, inshallah ta'ala, we hope that this will suffice to roll up the sleeves and prepare for that month. Inshallah ta'ala, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept our righteous deeds and forgive our shortcomings and our sins and to make us among those who are freed from the fire and who hear the statements of Allah, the statements of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Father, best of all. Arakallah fikum, akhwan, naktafi bi'atar qadr. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka tu ilayhi.